Today I'm going to make a video of how to repair an interlock on an Air Techniques AT2000XR. What usually happens is when the interlock goes out, the motor doesn't turn. What this prevents, the interlock is on there for if you lift the top off while the processor is running, it will actually shut the motor off. If you the interlock goes out on these machines and what you end up doing is you can wire around them. A lot of technicians do this. This can actually save you some time. It's just a safety feature. The tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a pair of crimpers, pair of strippers, a screwdriver, number one Phillips, and a pair of wire cutters. And preferably a butt splice. If you don't have, you can use black tape, either one. What you're going to start with is you're going to get pull these six screws off okay then you're going to actually remove these two right here and what you're going to do is just so you can actually pull this up and then you can actually pry this up and it'll come right up now with those eight screws removed you should be able to put your fingers here and kind of lift and that'll pop loose there's kind of a gasket right there okay but what you want to do is you want to kind of pry up with this and get this separated from that, okay? What you don't want to do is you don't want to break this piece, okay? Now we're looking at the screws. This is your flipper for your film shutter. This blue and this black right here is your interlock button. Okay, it goes to the interlock switch. It has no power on it, so it can't, can't shock you. Okay, first thing you want to do is I prefer to go down here and cut these off there. Then what I will do, I will drag this out, and then I'll cut these about right there. Okay, just like that. Next thing I'll do is I'll take my, my wire strippers and I'll just strip these off. Okay. And I gotta strip these back. Now that I have these two stripped, I can actually take these two and I can put them together. Okay. Now these have actually been wired together. Okay, now what I can do is I can just put it back in there. Make it all nice and pretty. It's not going to be seen again. Now I can take and put my, my lid back on. As you'll see, you can slide that right up to it. And it'll go right back in. There you go. Now what you'll do is you'll put your screws back in at the top, put them all in here, then you're done. Okay, then you can actually plug your machine back up and that should fix your problem with your motor not running and pulling film. Now this is back together. You're ready to put it back on your processor and you're ready to try it again. This film is brought to you by Wade Myers with Gotta Dental. And if you have any questions, you can call me at that number or go to the website. You can email me through there. And if you've got any other questions on your process, feel free to, to email me or reach out to me and call me. Thank you and have a good day.